Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. And welcome to another edition of The Lowdown. Here, I give a quick review of a recent movie that just come out, and today I'm going to give you all the lowdown on Terminator Dark Fate. So, after the events of Terminator 2, things have drastically changed. So much so that they have changed Sarah Connor as well as the human race and another future is apparent. But with this other future, we are still getting Terminators coming down. And this time, they're not targeting Sarah, but this particular Terminator is targeting a factory worker in Mexico. And as always, uh, the Resistance sends a protector to protect this factory worker, as well as Sarah Connor is in the mix because she has been notified by an unknown source that another Terminator has targeted that particular person in that area. So now, Sarah, this new resistance protector, must protect this young factory worker from a new Terminator, you know, from a different future, in order to save the entire human race. I was going to let this slide, but then I started texting my closest friend, and yeah, I, I need to state my opinion about this. So, keep in mind, Terminator is the very first Arnold Schwarzenegger movie that I saw. And to top it off, you know, I actually did read some Dark Horse comics at the time. You know, not just Terminator vs. Robocop, by the way. But, so, what's good about this movie? The acting is really good. And I give a lot of kudos to the performers. Because what they did with what they were given is really good. In fact, I would like to see all of them in another movie together Prefer, preferably another action movie, you know, because, wow, they they meshed very well together, you know. It's awesome to see Linda Hamilton back. Thank God she's around this time, you know. She was in the war with John Connor. In fact, her voiceover in Terminator 2 for majority of it, these were her dying words, you know, up until the very end, you know, when the future changed. And, yeah, so... Great to see her back, and it's nice to see Arnold Schwarzenegger back, and while not as enjoyable as he was in Genesis, which is the only thing I can really say good about Genesis, it's still great to see him in a Terminator movie. So, those are my compliments of this movie. Let's go into the issues. The biggest issue is this movie is long. Now, most Terminator movies are kind of long, but you really feel it being long. It, you know, you're just there like, wow, what's taking this so long? When's this going to end? And when you're doing that in an action movie, despite your action sets being decent, that ain't a good sign. Also, this movie is very, very predictable. It was easy to see where things were going and how things were going to come about. The big problem I'm seeing people have is something that happens, you know, which, come on. You could have put one and one together about what was going to happen straight from the trailers. So the fact that y'all upset about this, you should have been prepared about it. But that out the way, what that does cause is something that's supposed to change. And the change is very inconsistent. You know, Terminator itself, you know, has a paradox in there because Kyle Reese is from the future, but he goes back to time, makes love to Sarah, and then gives birth to John Connor. You know, that's a paradox in itself, which doesn't really make that much sense. But some of these new changes that's supposed to regulate some things really, really don't make any sense whatsoever. You know, and yeah, so, ooh, um, yeah. This is one of my favorite franchise. This is like one of the first franchises that I've watched that I really, really felt it was really good, but then when they went past T2, it was just downhill from there. Granted, I will say this, it's not as bad as everyone's making it out to be. It is far better than Terminator Genesis and Terminator 3, but that's not saying much when your only good spot are the actors and their performance. You know, the action pieces are decent, but they are not very thrilling. The movie drags, the plot is nonsensical, more so, and things really, really don't make sense. It forces you to think about things. And when a movie, when an action sci-fi movie forces me to think, that ain't a good sign. 
And yeah, there's some SJW stuff that is really ridiculous. I mean, yeah, really ridiculous. So all I got to say is Terminator Dark Fate, it's all right, you know. While I personally don't like this, and I personally don't think it's a good movie, there are some things that make it passable enough that I say stream it or rent it. Agree? Disagree? Please drop me a comment below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or Twitter, Instagram at Token Dave 80. Subscribe. Ring that bell so you know when new video loads. But till then, this has been Token Dave, Dorky Token Black Guy. He's just trying to get by. Catch all of y'all later.